so. There's a lot of a lot of bad things going on in the world right now. You probably noticed. Probably talked about it. Probably thought about it. Prayed about it. And I've really been thinking a lot about it. You know, what can we do? What? How can we be the change we want to see? You know, you've heard that before. And I was thinking about the verse. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. For this is the greatest commandment. And the second part says the second greatest commandment is to love your neighbor as yourself. Love. You know, love's become a word that we casually throw around. And then we use it sometimes when we really mean it, too. There's people we love, things we love. But I really thought about the deeper meaning agape love, unconditional love, what it really meant. Because, you know, I don't hate anybody, really, I don't think. I don't, I feel like I love people, and, you know, you feel like you forgive people and stuff like that, but, I don't know, God's just been convicting me lately, like, what does it really mean to love your neighbor as yourself? And I was thinking about 1 Corinthians 13, it says, love bears all things, hopes all things, endures all things and then this one little line it said love keeps no records of wrong hmm no records of wrong what does it mean to really love people love others you know it means loving the people that have hurt you loving them keeping their record of the wrong like love that you know, you think you're fine, you don't hate people, stuff doesn't bother you, but I mean the love, like, in your heart where you, you know, you feel that way towards them because you feel that Christ-like love, the love that Jesus loves us with when he looks at us and knows that we have done so many wrong things. That kind of love for people that have hurt you, betrayed you, done wrong things to you, stabbed you in the back, the people that look different than you, that might not have the same skin color as you, that might not believe the same way as you do, that might not agree with you, that might not understand you, that might not like you, that might not accept you. Oh, love, love. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love people, everyone, with no conditions. Keeps no records of wrong. Hopes all things, endures all things. Love. So we want to be the change we want to see and we want to do something to affect the world we want to make a difference that means we have to love people unconditionally keep no records of their wrong love them even if they don't like or love us even if they do bad things to us if they don't agree with us if they don't look like us if they don't talk like us they don't do anything like us in fact they might could do everything opposite they might could be everything that we despise love love where you know in your heart and soul that no matter what you love them or you try to love them as Jesus loves us because you know what <laughs> when he looks at us he sees all those things everything our deepest darkest thoughts even our thoughts are things that we do like the stuff that we don't ever want people to know and you know what he loves us truly unconditionally Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. For this is the greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love you all.